Refreshing stories. My name's Rin. My husband Makoto and I are finally married and we're just about to have our wedding. We decided on our wedding ceremony venue. I can't believe there's so much to do in order to plan our wedding. That's true. Even the wedding planner told us that we still have a lot of planning ahead. Let's do our best though through everything in time. I'm so happy for the dress fitting soon. Someone's calling me. Oh, Makoto, it's your mother. My mom? I'll answer. Hello, this is Rin. Why did you take forever to answer your phone? How many times do you think I called you? I called 100 times! Now I have to go charge my phone! Why did you call so many times? That's not normal. S sorry I was meeting the wedding planner. I've heard enough of your pathetic excuses. Just hurry up and open the front door. We've been waiting out here forever. How long are you going to make us wait? Wait, you're in front of our apartment? Of course, that's why I've been calling you. Why aren't you here to let us in already? What are you even going on about? We never made plans for you to come over today. Mom, you can't just show up like that. But that's what family does. Anyway, isn't this apartment hot? Turn on the AC already. How is it that you can't even accommodate for your guests, Rin? S sorry, I'll turn it on straight away. And where are my snacks? Do you really expect me to be just satisfied with tea? Well, we didn't know you'd be coming over today, so we couldn't prepare any snacks for you in time. You should always have snacks on hand, in preparation for guests showing up. How can you not even do such a simple thing as that? Well, I guess I can't expect too much from you, considering that you were raised by a single mother and you only graduated junior high school. You're completely the opposite from my precious, perfect son, Makoto. He was raised in a loving, nurturing family and graduated from a top university. Mom! You can't just go around saying things like that! But it's true! Can she even do basic math? One plus one equals two, did you know that? Or is that too difficult for you to figure out? Stop being rude, Mom! There's no need to get angry, Makoto. It's my duty to figure out if your wife is worthy of you or not. As you can see, my mother-in-law doesn't think too highly of me because of my family and my academic background. That's why she's always on my case like this. Makoto tries to protect me from her, but she's a really tough lady to get through to. Even the following day, La la la, this place is going to be so clean. I love cleaning. Mm hmm Is someone at the door? Uh, Makoto's mom. What's with this dirty apartment? You can't even left the vacuum cleaner out. How is it that you can't even put things away once you've used them? Well, I was using it now. Wait, so this is you cleaning your place? looks dirtier now than it did yesterday. What kind of a wife can't even clean her own place? Uh, sorry about that. It's not my fault. I didn't think you'd be back so soon to scrutinize me. Makoto's not here right now, right? That's perfect. Now I can tell you what I really think about you two. You're not good enough for my beloved Makoto. So hurry up and cancel the wedding already. What? Where did this come from all of a sudden? Didn't you previously accept our marriage? At first I said yes, because Makoto seemed to really like you. But now I've changed my mind. You two are already legally married, right? So in order for Makoto to have a chance at a bright future, I need you to be the one to divorce him. Got it? I'm not going to do that. I love Makoto. And I know he loves me too. I don't care if you love each other or not. I want an intelligent, better wife for him. You want a better wife for him? Don't you mean you want a better daughter-in-law for you? Stop talking back to me, you good-for-nothing brat! So that's what she said, and she got really mad, and then left. I can't believe she had the nerve to say such things! Wait a second. Mom, you have to stop barging in here like you did today! Makoto ended up telling his mom over the phone that she can't go around saying such rude things to me anymore. As a result, it seemed as though his mom wouldn't be doing so anymore, but... Why does my son have to be angry with me? I'm just trying to protect him from having to spend the rest of his life with that brat. I don't care what I have to do anymore. No matter what, I'll make them break up. As you can see, it doesn't seem as though she's actually changed at all. But since Makoto had a talk with her last time, she stopped coming over unannounced. Then came the day I've been looking so forward to. My dress fitting. It looks so good on you. 
Yes, it looks great. I think you made the perfect choice. Thank you so much. Can I have a look at the other dresses, just in case? Of course. This one is beautiful. You have a great eye. Unfortunately, though, this dress here is just on display. It's not to be purchased or worn by anyone. Oh, that's a bummer. But can I continue looking at other dresses? Yes, of course. I couldn't get enough of looking at all the amazing wedding dresses they had on display. While I was looking around, another customer started talking to me. Oh, the sleeves on that dress are beautiful. That's what I was thinking. The sleeves make the dress look so cute and elegant at the same time. The overall design is rather simple, but with the lace detailing and the embroidery, it really makes for a beautiful dress. Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> Not to worry, I was thinking this dress is amazing too, so I'm happy we agree on that. Imagine wearing this beautiful dress on your wedding day. You might even end up being so happy that you think you went to heaven. That might be saying a little too much. <laughs> But still, it really is perfect, isn't it? I might ask the store manager if I can have it then. What? I know the store manager here. Oh! Then came around the day of my wedding ceremony. It's finally the day for me to break them apart! There's no way that idiot Brad is going to have the peaceful wedding she wants. She better be ready for what's coming. Ouch! Look where you're going, idiot! What's up with that lady? <laughs> no one's here, so this is that Barat's wedding dress. It's so ugly. But what else did I expect from a low life like her? Let me just cut this here, and this over here. <laughs> what happened here? My dress! Who would have done such a thing? Are you all ready for the ceremony? Nakoda's mom. Oh no! What's with this dress of yours? It's a very unique design. Are you really going to wear this? It's like the dress of the Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> what happened to my beautiful dress? The ceremony's just about to start, and I can't wear this now. Did you do this to my dress on purpose? I mean, I don't even really have to ask, but you think I did this? Please, I wouldn't do such a petty thing. But who cares anyway? It was a cheap looking dress to start off with. Cheap looking? Are we looking at the same dress here? This dress is worth a hundred thousand dollars and it's not even mine. A hundred thousand dollars? And it's not even yours? How could that be? I just borrowed it. I didn't buy it. Oh, right. By saying you borrowed it, it sounds like you borrowed it from someone else. I think you meant to say that you rented it from a store. I'll let you in on a little secret since you probably don't know any better. When you rent things, you usually sign a contract with insurance. So even if you damage the dress a little, in any case, you wouldn't end up having to pay the full price for the damages. I didn't sign any contract papers, so there's no insurance for this dress. I meant what I said earlier. I personally borrowed it from an actress that I met at the bridal store. What? What actress? Lemon Tazumi. She's in the famous So So Lemon ads. How could you have been in contact with such a famous celebrity? There's no way you would have been able to borrow a dress from her. But it's true. Rin, how's the dress? Lemon! It really is you! Um, do I know you? Anyway, Rin, why aren't you wearing the dress yet? The ceremony's about to start. Thing is, the dress looks like this. What happened to it? My beautiful dress! Wait, it was really Lemon's dress? It's true. This is really Lemon Suzumi's personal dress that is worth $100,000. Apparently it was made for her for a movie, but she ended up falling in love with it, so she bought it after finishing filming with her own money. She was kind enough to let me borrow it for my wedding for free. Who would want to do such a thing to my amazing dress? And what are you going to do, Rin? You need a dress to get married in. Oh no, I hope they don't suspect I was the one that did this. I'll never forgive whoever did this. I just realized I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Wait, 
You're that lady that ran into me a little while earlier. Uh, oh no, it was her that I bumped into. You bumped into each other earlier? Yes, and it was just in front of this room. Hmm, in front of this room earlier? Are you the one that cut up this dress? What? As if. I'm Rin's mother-in-law after all. Why would I do such a thing? Then what were you doing outside the room earlier? I was just... You look suspicious. If you are truly innocent, then you won't mind me going through your bag. Wait, no, don't do that. This cutter knife right here is all the evidence we need to prove that you're the one that damaged the dress. No, it wasn't me. Stop lying. The evidence is right here. Please, I'm telling you it wasn't me. Then I guess we'll have to check the footage on those surveillance cameras. That's a great idea. We'll have undeniable proof then. And after that, we can finally put the culprit away for good. Let's see who was in here earlier. Wait, I don't want to go to jail for such a thing. I admit, I damaged the dress. It was me. I'm really sorry. Now that I confess, no one needs to go to extremes to send me away, right? So it was you. How dare you do such a thing? It's Rin's big day, and you went ahead and shamelessly damaged the dress she was going to wear. You're her mother-in-law. You should be celebrating the fact that your son and daughter-in-law are having their ceremony today. Do you even know how much this dress was worth? A hundred thousand dollars. I'm sorry, but I never asked. To have this brought up by a single mother in junior high school graduating low life as a daughter-in-law. I refuse to accept her as part of my family. How dare you? There are things about me I can't change, but your actions speak louder than anything. If anyone's a low life, it would be you. Your son was looking forward to this day, but you couldn't even be happy for him. Even Lemon let me borrow her beautiful dress for today. But look what you've done. Don't talk back to me like that, Rin. You don't talk back to her like that. You're a mother after all. You should understand that no matter one's upbringing or academic background, they deserve to be treated with respect, just like how you'd want others to treat your son. But that's not how you're treating Rin. I let Rin borrow my dress because of her kind and honest character. Why can't you respect her for the type of person she truly is? Shut it! This has nothing to do with you! Actually, it does. I was brought up by a single mother and I only graduated from junior high school too. So according to your way of thinking, that would make me a low life as well. You, on the other hand, come from a nuclear family and have a great academic background, right? I'm guessing that means that you won't have any troubles paying for the damage you caused on my dress, right? As if anyone could pay $100,000 for that dress. I definitely can't. But you must take responsibility for the things you've done. I may have only graduated from junior high school, but even I know that. I mean, that's true, but... I don't have a hundred thousand dollars to give you. Rin, please ask Lemon to not make me pay the full price for the dress. I can't afford it. I need a discount. No! You must pay her the full price for it. After all, you're the one responsible for damaging it. Exactly. I won't accept any other amount than the full price. If you can't agree to that, then I'll have no other choice but to call the police. N no, please don't do that. But still, I can't pay that much. We'll deal with that later then. But for now, Rin, we have to get you ready for your wedding. But I don't have a dress to wear. Who do you think I am? After that, Lemon got straight to calling a bunch of people. Not before long, many other actresses and stylists arrived at the venue and brought with them dresses that they had on hand. I couldn't believe just how many people Lemon was able to get in contact with. It took me a while to choose a new dress, but Lemon helped me pick the perfect one out. Thanks to her, I was able to have a great wedding. Afterwards, please, I'm begging you, lend me the money to pay back Lemon. No, Mom. After all, it was all your doing. You should be happy that Rin and Lemon decided not to call the police on you. Exactly. But remember that you weren't forgiven and you have to pay Lemon back. But I'm telling you, I don't have that kind of money. I can't pay Lemon back unless I get help from someone. What are you going on about? Oh, I guess I can't seem to understand what you're saying because I'm too dumb to understand. No! I won't call you bad names ever again, so please lend me money. 
As it turns out, Makoto's mom couldn't borrow money from anyone or anywhere else to pay back Lemon. So now she's working under Lemon in order to pay back what she owes her. But she's always making Lemon angry by not completing her tasks for her properly, and she might be fired soon. I'm guessing it'll take a while for Makoto's mom to fully pay back Lemon at this rate. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!